The first thing you're going to do is braid your client's hair straight to the back. I like to do small to medium sized braids. Whatever size you do is honestly going to depend on your client's hair thickness and also the length of their hair. You don't want to do the braids too big because they are going to show underneath the install. It's going to look very bulky. You want to slightly just take some alcohol and just make sure that your client's hairline is clean. You do not have to put this on their hair at all because this is going to dry out their scalp. You just want to clean off around their hairline where the skin area is. You want to make sure you do that so the adhesive and everything can stick correctly. The liquid melt is a glueless gel. This can be used to lay down baby hair, create ponytails, lay down wigs for a glueless method, just a range of different things. Like it's a very, very versatile product. And I'm just gonna take some of this, comb her edges back, smooth them down as you can see me doing. And then I'm gonna put a cap on top of this Add some more of the glueless gel, and then we're gonna sit her under the dryer and blow dry it until it's completely dry. And what I'm spraying before I apply the adhesive is the skin guard. And we are using the hold me down adhesive in the watermelon scent. This is the makeup that I use on her. After I put the makeup on the lace, I like to go in with a holding spray in the skin guard and spray that inside of the wig as well. And I'm going to be applying about four layers of the hold me down adhesive. You want to make sure that you're doing light and thin layers before you go in and apply thick white chunks and gunks of layers on top of each other. Because if you do that, it's not going to sit right. Like it's not going to set in correctly. And also the adhesive is just going to start seeping through the lace. You want to make sure you're doing light thin layers and then go back in like what you see me doing right now if you have to touch up around the edges and you want to put the same amount of layers in those areas as well so i'm going to do this four times
the video that you guys see directly before this one before this upload is the bleaching knots video and this is the same exact wig on the knots that i bleached and i didn't pluck or anything before putting this wig on her head this wig is used from my company no we are not selling hair yet but we will be selling hair very soon also um you want to go ahead and take some of the baby hair out spray some holding spray around the hairline and then we're going to put the melting band around the front of the hairline The hot comb that I'm using is from a brand called EAP Heat. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this brand, but I just purchased it offline. I usually only used to use a hot comb that was a stove top or you put it in one of those little ovens. But I saw a lot of great reviews about this brand, so I decided to try it out. And honestly, to my surprise, it works really, really good. Despite it being a plug-in hot comb because a lot of plug-in hot combs really don't get the job done like they don't get hot enough they just don't do it for me this one is really 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 good so now what i'm doing is going in and plucking in some areas and you want to make sure that when you're plucking you're actually taking the hair out of the lace like when you see the roots start to come out, that's how you know you're doing it right. A lot of people have a hard time with plucking and they don't really know if they're plucking or not, but you just wanna go down into the root and just create a method that works for you. One thing that you do not wanna do is pluck the lace, but not in the same space. You wanna do it in different spots, go down into the root, pluck, Go backwards, create your own little motion, create your own little rhythm, comb, and make sure that you're getting the job done. As you can see, the hairline looks thinner already. This wig was already pre-plucked, so I really didn't have to go in and just do like major, major plucking. And I'm really not going to do major, major plucking. I just wanted it to be as natural as possible. Now I'm going to part her hair and we're going to clean up the part because sometimes when you bleach the knots, it does go into the roots of the hair and it just doesn't look good with the crazy Aki wide part. So we're going to go in with some semi-permanent hair dye and I'm going to be using the Beijing brand. It's in the color Jet Black and you want to get like a little spoolie like the little things that you clean up your eyebrows with and you know create your eyebrows with if you're into makeup you know exactly what I'm talking about you just want to take the end of a spoolie dip it into the dye and just close up the part so that it looks completely clean Once you clean up the part, I like to go in with an angled brush, an angled makeup brush, and I'm using the color 228 from Maybelline Fit Me and just going slightly down the hairline. You do not have to apply a lot of makeup. You do not have to overly cake it on there. Just lightly just tap, tap, tap and move on to the next step. Now we're going to start to create her baby hair. Baby hair is completely up to you, your preference, your client's preference, whatever look you're going for, there is no right or wrong. It's just all about your own creative expression. There are many, many different ways to do baby hair from styling foam, holding spray, gel, 
so many different ways you can create baby hair and i know how to do all of them so if you guys would like to see like a video compilation of me doing different baby hair methods just let me know but today we're going to be using a technique that i learned from arrogant tays class and i'm going to be using the curling iron to curl the baby hair because i found that this method it helps especially beginners to create the baby hair because i learned that a lot of beginners have a hard time curving the baby hair and getting them to go in the right directions so this is a very 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 beginner friendly technique to use because when you curl it it's just like no way that you can mess up but the styling foam it's a little bit more advanced and you have to be quick and you have to know what you're doing the styling gel is the same way because once that gel starts to lock up you got to move quick I'm using a little bit of the glueless liquid melt gel to create like that clean, sleek baby hair look. And I'm just putting it like on the root of the wig, like the lace. And then I'm using some of the product to comb down with instead of completely just drenching the baby hair in the product. So I'm just lightly putting it like on the lace aka the root of the wig and then using the comb to like comb some of the product through and what i'm going to do is go back in with my razor cutter and cut the baby hair shorter I also like to pluck some of the baby hair out in certain areas because you really don't want them to be too thick, honestly. Like, that's just not cute. So it's just up to you, like I said, however you want to go for the look, like however you want the baby hair to look, however your client wants them to look, it's just all about a creative expression. I like to, I like them to look natural as possible. Like I like to do all of the swirls and curls and the cuteness, but I also don't want them to be too, too thick. Like you want them to just be thin and clean. Now that I got the baby hair complete, I'm going to take some of the Sev Skin Co. And I'm going to add all of the links down in the description box. I'm taking the leave-in conditioner spray and spraying it on her curls. This spray works really, really good. Not only does it smell really good, it works really, really good to define your curls and bring that curl pattern back and just really keep your hair conditioned without it being so heavy. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the styling foam, the fluff stuff styling foam, and just put it on there just slightly, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And then after that, I'm going to take some of the sleek sheen and just lightly spray it on there just for some oil sheen at the very end. And that pretty much sums up this video and it sums up this style. If you really like that wet, 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 wet look, you can feel completely free to use a water bottle to create that look and you also want to add a conditioner into that as well so the curls can like hold you also want to use a styling foam as well I wanted to more so go for like a fluffy kind of wet look I didn't really want to go for a completely wet look so I didn't use water but if you do want that wet look like I said you're going to do everything exactly the same with the conditioner and the foam you're just going to add water <laughs> 